how are legends, you guys ask, and we made someone else deliver. Welcome to the <laughs> Nicknames Supercard. We wanted to have it all in one place so that you can just slowly chew your way through it like a uh, person that loves chewing through video content. That's 2024 for you. <laughs> one through 50. Enjoy. I got tagged in an absolute beauty on Facebook last night, post from Lad Bible, and they were talking about the origins of your nickname. But I'm going to read a few of these out for you. Jay, you haven't seen any of these. I've hidden them from mm. you. My dad had a mate who's got half his ear missing, and his nickname is 18 months because he's only got an ear and a half. <laughs> uh, had a boss called Drillbit because he's a small, boring tool. <laughs> Richard Henderson writes, I worked with a guy who had one big hand and one small hand. He was known as the clock. Darren Allen writes, I knew a fellow whose nickname was Uncle Ben's because he had a cyst removed from his sack. Um, a boil in the bag. Ma Mark O'Brien <laughs> Mark O'Brien writes, worked in a factory and there was this guy called Keith there. Took me ages to realise that his real name was Keith, but he had an eye missing. <laughs> And then one final one as well. This is from Lab Bible. Oh. There's a guy at work that has one leg shorter than the other, which causes his head to bob side to side. So they call him they call him the sniper's nightmare. Brody Holdaway writes, My boss's nickname is Noodle because he thinks every job should take two minutes. <laughs> Spencer Rose writes, uh, My nickname's Crab Sticks because I fell asleep on a very hot day not realising your leg, my legs were not covered by the shade of the tree that I was sleeping under. <laughs> Front leg sunburnt red, the back of the leg still snow white. <laughs> <laughs> Andy He's Holland good. said he worked with a guy called Donkey and initially I thought he may have been built like one or hung like one. So I asked him why the boss calls him Donkey. He replied, e -oh, e -oh, e -oh. <laughs> he always calls me that. <laughs> Tom Stratford writes, we call my mate who has bad acne. He's called the clumsy beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> That's so brutal. <laughs> Jay Ollie writes, uh, I nicknamed one of my mates Blister because he said he always turns up after the hard work is done. <laughs> Brendan Murphy says, I work with a bloke we call Glass Eye. He looked effective but didn't do much. <laughs> one final one here. Uh, Shane Benson writes, I work with a guy called Two Cocks because you've got to have two cocks to be that much of a wanker. <laughs> This is <laughs> Nicknames Part 3. This from Michaela Gunn. I work with a bloke called Beer Bottle because he's empty from the shoulders up. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Dave Livo. <laughs> My mate's nickname was Taillight uh, because he wasn't bright enough to be a headlight. <laughs> Paul Day. I know twins that were called size 6 and 7 because that's the biggest size eggs that you can get. <laughs> Aku Tudaya. I know a guy whose nickname is Lantern because he's always got to be carried at work and he's not too bright. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Gary Chicoach. We call the boss Mortgage Eyes because one's fixed and the other one's variable. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Jay, Jay Plunkett. I know a bloke called Edna May, uh, so his nickname was June. <laughs> End of May. June. <laughs> God, they're a bitch. <laughs> uh, and this is a pretty grim one. Uh, we work with a bloke in the UK. All the lads called him Simba. I thought it was because he took over running the family business. Turns out the real reason he got the nickname was because just like the movie, his uncle killed his dad. Oh! I found uh, this post via someone sending it to me and it's off a Facebook page called the Awesome Boilies page. They simply ask... Who's got an apprentice at work? What do you call him? Randall Else writes, We've got a bloke we call Cane Toad because every time he stops, he sits down. <laughs> Steve Roberts writes, uh, There's a bloke at our work called Honey because he's thick, but he's also sweet. <laughs> Darren Lawrence reckons he's got a bloke at his work called Never Sweat. Never worked hard enough to work up a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Dean says, not a nickname, but I, um, not a apprentice nickname, but I call my workshop the nursing home because every time I look out there, it's like watching the elderly move around. 
Wayne Manton uh, calls his apprentice stink finger because he won't pull his finger out of his ass. <laughs> Uh, Matt Martin writes, uh, he's got an apprentice called Bush Ranger. Uh, Bush Ranger, always holding everyone up. <laughs> Kobe Smith uh, says at his work, there's a bloke called Foreskin because he disappears when the work gets hard. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesse Grummet writes, there's a, there's a bloke, a useless bloke at our work called Cordless. You charge him up all night and he only does about two hours work the next day. <laughs> And my favourite oh. from Rod D, uh, we've got a bloke at our work called Contagious because it takes the <laughs> contagious to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an apprentice bricklayer called James Bond, uh, as in 007, zero talent, zero effort, seven poos a day. I used to work the bloke, we called him Toes because that's all you can see hanging out of the boss's ass. That's how far up he is, you beauty. Or Jay, is that way you? Uh, he's called Anteater because he has an extremely long... Oh, we can't read that on the radio. <laughs> Bloke at the pub, he's known as the judge because he handles a case a day. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Michael O'Brien, he's just saying he's got a mate at work they call Pothole because you spend the whole day trying to avoid him. <laughs> the wicket keeper puts on gloves and then stands out back. There's a bloke here at work that we're calling Grenade at the moment because we're just waiting for him to pull the pin. There's a guy at our work called Sensor Light. Only works if someone walks past. <laughs> Seaweed floats around all day and stinks. <laughs> There's a guy at our work called Penguin. He's always on the ice. <laughs> it's so rough. G-Spot, you can never find him. <laughs> Two stroke. Hard to get started and always smoking. <laughs> And one final nickname, Harvey Norman. He's been there three years and he's got no interest. <laughs> oh, shit. We've got Mr. 501. At one minute past five, he'll be long gone. Yes. Mudguard, shiny on top, but all shit underneath. <laughs> We've got a foreman we call the flex bush when he gets into a huff. Starts flapping his arms around like a bush in the wind. We've got a boss here in Aussie that's got a wandering eye. We call him Sports Bet because he's got one going each way. Uh, we've got a bloke in our scheme called the Spider because he last went shopping in the 90s and bought himself four pairs of jeans. Uh, we had a guy at uni called The General. When he walked into the pub, the whole rugby club stood to attention and saluted. Called him it for four years, then convinced him to get The General tattooed on his ass. Then he went and walked into the bar, the whole club would go to sleep. It's because he's a general anaesthetic to a conversation and bores you to sleep. It was a four-year stitch-up. The boys got him! <laughs> That's ruthless. Over here in Aussie, a bloke I once worked with, he was called Dick Do. After a month or so, I asked another colleague why this fellow was called Dick Do. He goes, oh, that's because his gut sticks out further than his Dick Do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Shall I? Yes. We worked with a guy that we called Dory. He gave him an instruction. Ten seconds later, poof, completely forgot it. <laughs> Rinse and repeat for eight hours. Oh, I dropped sunglasses earlier in the piece. Uh, Liam Bowman said, we used to have a bloke at work called Fog. He loved it. And he thought it was a great name until someone told him it's because he's thick and slow moving. <laughs> <laughs> Danny King says, worked at the freezing works with a guy who used to process all the blood from the animals. He was always covered in blood, so he nicknamed him Tampax. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sam Koperman. One of my dad's mates was telling him he had a friend at school. His name was Graham Grahams, so they called him Echo. <laughs> oh, that's good. Had a bloke that was so fat that he couldn't wipe his ass properly, so they called him the Mud Hut. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, we have got a podcast called Not For Radio, and this is the little QR code that you can see right here. Scan that and you can jump onto our podcast. Enjoy the rest of the nicknames. <laughs> nicknames around five or six. I'm losing counts. Had a sales rep whose nickname was Jet Boat because he had no sales. <laughs> our senior B's assistant rugby coach is called Driftwood 
Suddenly he appears, he floats around, does bugger all, then disappears. <laughs> Dan Candy says, our uh, workmate, we call him Pokeball. It's in Pokemon. He takes off his hard hat to show his bald white head and his big red beard. We knew a bloke with a very unfortunate set of cross eyes. We called him Chip and Dip. One eye on the chip, one eye on the dip. My dad nicknamed my mate Nine Iron because he has a club foot. We would have only met him about eight at the time, but it stuck to this day. Nine that's Iron's a, a badass that's, nickname. That's a cool ass nickname. And it's much better than Chip and Dip. Worked with a bloke that looked way older than he was. Tan, leathery skin. Only ever wore uh, jandals, so I started calling him the five o'clock chicken. You know when you go to the chicken shop and there's that one last burnt shriveled specimen that's been spinning away all day. The five o'clock chicken, everyone. <laughs> Shout out to Thrush. Apparently someone's called Thrush, guys. Next, we're getting down to the bottom of an argument. I think you're going to finish off why he's got the nickname. Nope, absolutely not. Lose my job. <laughs> My mate's girlfriend used to drive us around everywhere and she has a missing toe, so we call her the tow truck. <laughs> Rosy Smith, we had an old bloke that worked with us. We called him Sooner. It's the sooner he effed off the better. <laughs> Daniel Leatham writes, I play cricket with a bloke that's always getting injured, so his nickname is Tampon because he's in for a week and out for three. <laughs> we work with a bloke in Canberra that we called the Giver. He thought it was great and reflected on how hard he works until I told him it's because hearing his voice gives me a headache. <laughs> Watching him attempt to work gives me stress and just looking at him gives me the shits. James Humphrey says, we have an environmental officer at work called Seagull. He flies in, flaps his wings, squawks a lot, shits on everyone, then buggers <laughs> off. <laughs> Maddie Clark has a mate, he's cross-eyed, he's called Mortgage. She's got one eye fixed and the other one's floating. <laughs> Gary Crook, we work with a bloke that we call the Appendix because he is absolutely no use at all to anybody and we've been trying to get him taken out for years. <laughs> <laughs> My boss calls me the computer. It's got nothing to do with intelligence. I just go to sleep if unattended for 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I've got a mate called Car Wash because his ass cheeks are so hairy that when he drops his shorts and bends over, he looks like one. <laughs> and then one final one here from Glenn Douthwaite. Uh, I told my mate I thought I saw his name on a loaf of bread the other day, but when I looked again, it said Thick Cut. <laughs> I, th I thought we were done. Oh, we're clearly not. This is Nicknames Volume 8. Davey Williams, I know a set of twins where one of them accidentally got shot in the leg. They're known as leaded and unleaded. <laughs> Used to work on a building site with a guy called Luke who walked around all day trying to skive off work. We named him Luke Sightwalker. <laughs> I almost picked that before you said it. That's good. I named my stepdaughter's boyfriend Handbag because he has no personality and just carries her stuff for her. That's changed now. He's got a new nickname now that she ran over him and shattered his leg. He's called Roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> I call my mate Belly Button because he's 37 and lives at home with his mum still. He's never been detached from the umbilical cord. Belly <laughs> Button. <laughs> We've got a mate who never buys around. His nickname is Crime because crime doesn't pay. <laughs> These are so good. We used to have a guy at work and we called him Glovebox because he was full of shit and you couldn't <laughs> shut him up. <laughs> Bloke I work with is called Fitzhall. His name was One Size. One Size Fitzhall. <laughs> ben Dundee, we nicknamed a bloke at work Rapper because the line he was working on was shrink wrapping double pallets of 25 kilo bags started to build up and uh, when he went to check on them he discovered that he'd been wrapped up himself. <laughs> a bloke at work called Radar because he didn't do any work until the boss came in and he could always hear that his car arrive and then started working. 
I worked with a guy called Amen because he always had to have the last word. <laughs> <laughs> and one final one for you. My mate has a stutter and he introduced himself to everyone that I've seen him introduce himself to as R -R 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 Remix. Oh, <laughs> mate, we thought we were done with it. We thought that we'd, we'd heard it all, but it just keeps coming in. An absolute treat, and no doubt there'll be another one, you little beauty. Thanks, Cameron, for your message. I work with a guy we call Denzel, meaning Denzel non-Washington, because once he got caught not washing his hands after taking a cack. <laughs> uh, we had a dude at work that we called Goldilocks on our first Friday afternoon. He could only handle three beers. <laughs> well, we're on here. Taylor Oaks, I've got a mate that we call Traction Control because he always kicks up a fuss when things go sideways. <laughs> I work with a bloke who walked with a gimpy leg whose nickname was Kadonk. I asked him why. He told me it's the sound that made when the truck hit him. I've <laughs> got a mate we call uh, a, a mate whose real name is Richard Ferguson, so his nickname is the Dick Tractor. <laughs> we have a, a carpenter on site that was so slow that we nicked him Stevie One Door because that's about all he could manage to hang in one day. <laughs> Right, a couple, a couple more to finish. Now I've got one. Oh, you got one more. You got one more. They'll, they'll save the best for last, obviously. <laughs> Cookie from the UK says he worked in the coal mines for 15 years. He had one bloke called Hot Chip. He stuttered, so when he spoke, it sounded like he had a hot chip in his mouth. And also Doug, who we work with, pale complexion, dark around the eyes, and looked like a corpse that had been dug up. <laughs> Barry Davis with this one. I got a workmate who had really bad skin, lots of pimples all over his face, absolute shambles of a human. His nickname was the Clumsy Beekeeper. And finally, from Scotty Kent, <laughs> we've got a bloke that we work with who was born with no hands, so we call him Bluetooth because he's hands free. I work with a guy called Dave who was the factory snitch. So we nicknamed him Dave Dobbin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to add to the nicknames as I work the bloke that looked a lot older than he actually was, Jay. What's, what many, is my new nickname? <laughs> had that many creases in his face, we called him Fossil Head. <laughs> hey, Fossil Head, how you going? <laughs> we have a guy at work we call Full Term because that's how pregnant he looks. <laughs> I knew a bloke called Nemo. He was born with one arm half the size of his other. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Two guys who had nicknames. One was the Rucksack and the other one was Man Bat. I asked how they got their nicknames and the boss said, one's full of useless shit and everyone <laughs> carries him. And the other one's real name's actually Wayne Bruce. So of course, he's going to be called Batman. I had an old workmate that used to be called Snow Globes. When he got pissed off at the computer, he would pick up his monitor and shake it like a Christmas snow globe. <laughs> Michael credited said, I went to a school with a guy we called Slinky because every time you looked at him, you just wanted to push him down the stairs. <laughs> I was working at a pub in Cork, Ireland, with a bloke whose nickname was Miss Ireland. Couldn't figure out why, uh, because he wasn't the best looking bloke. Turns out he was into parachuting and missed the drop zone and ended up in the sea. <laughs> missing Ireland. <laughs> See, we had no more. And we were wrong. Thank you very much to everyone that sent those in. Oh, you're yeah, definitely the last time we're doing that, though. Uh, yeah, 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. the last time. Yeah, that yeah, definitely won't be back. I don't think that could... You can't top that. Well, that yeah. won't be back. Welcome to Nicknames Volume 10. <laughs> We've got a guy that works with us. His surname is Brothwood. So we started calling him Soup, as in Soup Broth. Anyway, we soon discovered that he wasn't the brightest spark and we decided to call him Shu because he got thicker over time. <laughs> <laughs> My neighbour's name is Peter and he has an identical twin brother. Peter was the firstborn, so he's Pete and his brother is called Repeat. <laughs> we have an older bloke around 60 at work as well. He has really bad flaky skin. The boys call him Snowflake and the uni drives the snow globe. <laughs> when he drives around with the windows down, it looks like he's vaping. Jeez, that's some flaky ass skin. <laughs> A mate who lost an eye at work and now is known as Headlights. His one eye dips and the other dazzles. <laughs> I have a mate who worked in the Royal Air Force. We call him Biscuits because he crumbles under the slightest <laughs> bit of pressure. 
Shout out to Biscuits because if you're listening, mate, we work with an old boy here in the Middle East. He leans forward quite a lot when he slowly moves around. His nickname's Photo Finishes. He looks like he's leaning out to break the finishing line tape. I have a colleague that is an absolute teabag. As it happens, his name is also Earl and he has grey hair. Insert nickname Earl Grey. Work with a bloke we called the Submarine Door because he's thick as fuck. I once with a bloke we call the pinata because whenever this bloke was around, you wanted to smack him with a stick. <laughs> Met a bloke the other day. His name is Richard Maple. His nickname, Dick Syrup. I know a guy whose name is Matt. He picked up the nickname Carpet because he's too thick to be a mat. We have a guy called The Ornament. He might be interesting occasionally, but generally he's pretty useless. <laughs> a shrimp is the nickname. Went on a lad's holiday to Turkey. We'd all been hard out on the ales and eaten some dodgy kebab. The fella in question was sunbathing on his front wearing a pair of hideous budgie smugglers. He tried to fart, but it ended up being a shark, which shot a thin line of poo out of his smugglers and a perfect line up his spine, which kind of looked like the digestive tract of a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Nicknames, volume 12. My dad had a friend at school. His name was Graham Graham, so they called him Echo. <laughs> Had an Irish manager in our rugby team we named Cadbury because after a glass and a half, he was glassy-eyed and ranting about Brian O'Driscoll's tackle in the Lions series 2005. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. So I have a mate who knows where all the takeaways are. No matter where we are, we call him the fat man. <laughs> a mate, Corey, who was drunk as a skunk, broke my toilet at a party, fell on it while trying to sit down for a poo, smashed the bowl in half. He now goes by the nickname Shitter Splitter. <laughs> Got a bloke that we play rugby with called the florist because he never travels with the boys and he always makes his own arrangements to get to the games. <laughs> It's always accurate. My mate works for a roofing firm here in Donegal, Ireland. His boss keeps falling off roofs, so they nicknamed him Superman. <laughs> Not because he survived falling off so many roofs, but because he thinks he can clearly fly. <laughs> Damien Lewis writes, we have a mate from cricket who has Parkinson's. His nickname is Skill Tester. He reckons watching him trying to pick up something is like watching the claws on a skill tester. Uh, and finally from me, Jeff Peck. I used to work with someone called the tow truck because he stressed a lot and looked like he was heading for a breakdown. Rowan Toms rides, got a mate uh, at cricket. He's lost four toes in a work accident a few years ago. We call him Milky because he's lactose. <laughs> Nicknames will be back 100%. You should see the list that we have. The Rock. Taking the piss since 91. Right, let's get into it. This is Nicknames, Volume 13. Jay, you're in for a treat here. Yeah, this go. is from uh, Stab from Wagga Wagga, Australia. I work with a bloke that was uh, that thick. When you asked him to do anything, he'd sit and stare at you in silence for a minute or two, so we called him Remembrance Day. <laughs> Anthony Jones from Wales. Wales! We've got a guy at work called Terry Heard, and we call him Harry Turd. His son started working at the same place, so we call him the Fluffy Poo. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Terence Friel. We had a boss who uh, had a limp due to football. One of the guys called him the man with the stone in his shoe. <laughs> George Morley writes, I uh, thought I'd share a nickname of a bloke at our cricket club. He hasn't taken a catch in five seasons that he's played for us. We call him Lemsip because he couldn't catch a cold. <laughs> Uh, Brad Atherton writes, I work with a guy nicknamed Upgrade because he got circumcised at the age of 28. Reckons his wife has never jumped him so much. Good to have you listening, Upgrade. Daniel Lovelock, I used to work with a guy called Derek Haycock. I had no idea what his real name was for years because everyone just called him Straw Balls. <laughs> Nigel Campbell says, worked in town, there was a bloke named Richard Batch. They used to call him Putcher, as in put your dick back. Nigel, oh, oh, two from Nige. Thanks, Nige. I work with a ranger, oh, sorry, a ranger, um, who's called Biscuits because he obviously has ginger nuts. <laughs> Al Sparko writes, we have a bloke at work that we call Kit Kat because he loves a break and is a little bit chunky. <laughs> We've got three more. Craig Gibson, we had an apprentice who had a huge moustache. So I said, mate, you've got a huge stash of being 19. He goes, nah, I'm 18. He goes, Right, we've well, got a new nickname. It's Womb Stash. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. And Brendan Tucker writes, we had a guy called Tim and Tom. Odd sort of a bloke. You didn't know who was going to turn up, whether it was going to be Tim or Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy Brothwood writes, we work with, with a fella with one arm. So we called him Shark Bait because he swims in circles. <laughs> Oh, you got me. 
<laughs> Ooh, ah. <I> got me. <laughs> Welcome to Nicknames Volume 14. My mate's bald headed Moody Dab was nicknamed Mudguard because he's shiny on top and shitty underneath. Thank you, Chris Sinclair. <laughs> Dave McIntosh has sent us one saying, My old man worked in the shipyards back in the 80s and 90s with a guy nicknamed Houdini. He was useless and always went for long ciggy breaks. When my old man asked him why his nickname was Houdini and if it was because he's always disappearing, he goes, Nah, Dave, that's my name, Hugh Dini. <laughs> Just complete co coincidence. <laughs> uh, got a nickname for the apprentice that we had. He was nicknamed Dora the Explorer because he'd never take his backpack off and would be completely lost without his map. And one final one today. I work with a bloke who hasn't had much luck with the ladies despite having um, plenty of trying, so we call him Olive Oil because he's extra virgin. Thank you, Hayden, Hayden Montgomery. I worked with a guy nicknamed The Cherry. Uh, apparently his old man used to wear those really short tennis shorts to the pub, and as he sat down on the pub stool, his nuts would pop out the bottom, so his, his mates named him Plums. So when my workmate was born, he was given the nickname <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> That's from Chris Faber in South Africa. We've got a mate that breaks out in hives when he gets really angry, so we call him the Red Hulk. <laughs> Andy Rawson. We had a lad in school called Baghdad purely because he forgot his bag once and his dad dropped it off for him. I don't even remember what his real name was. <laughs> oh, that is brutal. Uh, this one here. I work with someone who only has her bottom row of teeth. So one lunch break, she bit down too hard on her food and it was as if her bottom teeth got stuck in the top row of just her gums. From that day on, she was called Ziploc. <laughs> Ziploc. Yeah. Paul Francis with this one. We had a set of twins who played footy at our local club. One was six foot five, fit as and covered in muscles. The other one was five foot tall and had zero endurance at all. He was known as the dribbly bit. <laughs> As his brother got the full load from dad, all he got was the dribbly bit at the end. The dribbly bit. Uh, this one here, though, from Carla. I call my partner the wonky donkey because he's not right in the head and has a massive dick. Some <laughs> the This is Nicknames Volume 15. I'm gonna make called Spermy, because his last name is Banks. Thanks, Adrian. We're off to a good start. There is two brothers on a different shift at my work, and we call them Tinfoil and Alfoil, because one is slightly thicker than the other one. Thank you, Aaron Crow. This is from Hugh Carson. My old man's nickname was Bomb Square, a uh, skier. When you met him, he talked so much, he couldn't get away. So everyone runs when they see him. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a guy called my right eye. He was missing his right eye after a nasty car accident into a power pole. <laughs> so ruthless. I used to work with a truck driver who moaned about his truck all the time, so we called him Naomi, which is I moan backwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> called my manager the, the winter waiting pool because she's cold, shallow, and although she may have been useful once upon a time, no one knows what, the, uh, what they're doing in the room now. And one final one from Tom Tom. We work with a fella over here in Perth who's so tight he wouldn't shout if a shark bit him. <laughs> His nickname is Whispers because he never shouts. <laughs> Welcome to Nicknames Volume 16. I had a work colleague who was late to work every day, so I started calling him the after dinner mint. He said, why are you calling me that? Because you only turn up after eight. <laughs> it's like a treat from the 90s, eh? Bust yeah. him out, little peppermint sliver. Anthony Doherty says, I worked with a bloke called Backfatter. Because every time he went on holidays, he came back fatter. <laughs> <laughs> we had an opening bowler for our cricket team. We found out he only had one testicle from a childhood illness. So his nickname was FBO for the five ball over because he was always one ball short for every over he bowled. <laughs> we had a mate who needed a dump in the middle of the night whilst guarding the Great Windsor Castle. Wow. He perched his cheeks over the wall and did the deed. The next morning as we left, we seen his deposit clung onto the wall halfway down. From then on, he was known as King Klingon. <laughs> Too many people can say they've done that. Welcome to Nicknames Volume 17. I've got a friend. His colleagues call him Bisto, which is British gravy, because he's rich and thick. <laughs> Dave White messaged in. My contribution for this segment is one for my old boss. We called him the Seagull, because every time he comes in, he makes a hell of a noise, steals our chips, shits all over the place, then Fs off, leaving us to clean up his mess. <laughs> Anthony Negro. 
We had a guy at footy that had red hair, so we called him Sauce. He hated the nickname so much he dyed it black. <laughs> so then we started to call him Soy Sauce. <laughs> Try this one on fellas. You used to play cricket with a very unattractive man who got the nickname Fern because ferns have got no roots. <laughs> Lockie Ellis, we used to work with a guy called Chris who had a lazy eye. His nickname was Chris Cross. Got a mate called Two Skin because he's only got half a foreskin. Very prominent <laughs> swim coach nowadays. <laughs> but, <laughs> we've got a pair of workmates we call F Cup because they're big tits that need support. <laughs> <laughs> Matty Johns, we've got a guy at work called Nose. He loves it because he thinks that we <laughs> thought he was really smart, but it's because he knows F all. Oh my gosh. Phil Hayes, I know a bloke called Tenta. Because his fat guts push his feet out with signaling 10 to 2 like on a clock face. His <laughs> guts push his feet out. <laughs> We're going to do it at work. His nickname Jabba the Hutt. He's a big fat slimy bastard and always tries to get a co-worker into something like a golden bikini. <laughs> My wife's best mate's little brother got the nickname Crunch Pants because when they were younger he shed his pants with us sitting at the bus stop. <laughs> Aaron Kiggins, say hey boys, love the nicknames. We've got a supervisor at work who gets on the junk and cooks himself every weekend. Mondays are always fun, and we call him the Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> always cooking. I was in the surf club with a bloke with a congenital hooked chest defect. His sternum was in his, his sternum was inverted, so we called him the Pirate because he had a sunken chest. It's like you. After your operation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you buried treasure. Mine was on the outside. <laughs> Alright, I'll park it there. My partner's got his nickname when he was at the when he was younger at the pub. They wouldn't serve him another beer until he had a can of Sprite, so he scaled it back and carried on drinking. This carried on a few more times and later that night he decided it was a good idea to have a scrap. Uh, so proceeded to fight all the people at the pub, like Mike Tyson. Henceforth the nickname Sprite Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I call my mates Mrs. The Clown Car because she keeps popping out kids. Kirk Moon writes, we've got a guy at work called The Whisk. The weekends he sees his girlfriend, he always comes back absolutely beat. <laughs> Richard Barden writes, I work with a guy we called Seaweed because he's so, I <laughs> he's so ugly even the tide won't take him out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, David Brown says, well, we've got a mate we call Carpet because his girlfriend walks all over him. <laughs> and one final one, and a bit of a throwback to the very first one we ever did. My husband works with a fat, miserable prick that looks like the Michelin man. He's called the sniper's dream because even with your eyes closed, you wouldn't miss him. <laughs> I miss these. I really did miss these. Oh, man. <laughs> what a treat. Nicknames volume 18 and we got a plenty. I know a guy who's loaded and always buying expensive shit, but he's good at nothing. So he's called the Kardashian. <laughs> Work with a guy here called Spray Paint because his name was Matt Black. We worked with a guy called Mrs. Mac because his skin was so flaky. It was like a Mrs. Mac sausage roll. Oh, Gave this fella the nickname Sponge at a work training gig. He thought it was because he soaked up all of the stuff we had to learn when in fact it was because he was a dirty, scraggly old piece of cloth that reeks. We worked with a guy back in my British army days who had a double barrel surname, so his nickname was Two Dads. <laughs> One of our players was a police officer and not very tall, so we called him Laptop as he was a, he was the smallest PC. <laughs> There's a bloke at school we called Beanbags because one day he fell over, didn't have boxes on, and his balls popped out of the hole, hence the nickname. <laughs> My mate worked with this fella they called the Moth because whenever you're having beers at night, you'd have to turn the lights off to get him to piss off. <laughs> we all know a Moth. We all know a Moth. <laughs> Welcome to Nickname Volume 17. Oh, no, it's oh. 19. Let's go again. We call this bloke at work the terrorist because he hijacks <laughs> every single conversation. This morning, it was the mere mention of condensed milk that triggered a half-hour unsolicited mountain biking yarn. 
<laughs> this one from Waddy. I know of a guy uh, and his workmates call him Satellite. When I asked why they call him Satellite, they said, oh, he's just always floating around. No one really has a clue what he's actually up to. <laughs> Tim from Ipswich in England. I work with a guy we call the Broken Pencil because he's pointless. <laughs> I've got a mate who used to play rugby with in Scotland. He was a hooker, and his nickname was Thinky. He was as wide as a thumb and as short as a pinky. Thank you, Andrew Kirk. <laughs> this is a savage. Thinky. We had a friend whose nickname was Mumbo because his mum had B.O. No other reason. It's sucked for over 20 years now. That's from Paul Kirkby. <laughs> Mumbo! <laughs> That could, so that could be the roughest yet. <laughs> yeah. My boss calls me clutch because I'm always slipping and not fully engaged. <laughs> Andy Briley. I used to work with a guy we called Lamp Post because he was six foot nine and had a 24 inch waist. <laughs> Worked with a weathered old bloke that had so many lines on his forehead, we called him all thread, <laughs> like an all thread fold. <laughs> it's when there's, it's when it's just a thread the whole way. <laughs> I know a mate whose nickname is Two Stroke. Two pumps and a pool and he's all done. <laughs> Shortly after my wife fell pregnant with our fourth, some guys at work started calling me the broken sofa because I can't pull out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, little beauty. Welcome to Nicknames Volume 20. From Daniel Tucker in Queensland, work with a bloke who was Short and very fat, we called him circumference because he was almost a perfect circle. <laughs> Zach Corbwell said, so I was playing local footy and a player's nickname was Ice. I asked another player, why do we call him Ice? He goes, well, because his cricket average is below zero. <laughs> Jake Wakefield writes, we had a boss with a massive gut who still thought he had a 28 inch waist. His belt was under that much pressure that we used to call him Ratchet Strap. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a guy at work, he's been divorced four times and getting married again. We call him GST because that um, when this one leaves him, that's all he'll be worth. <laughs> we had a lad working with us who literally keeps the local vending machine company in business. Cans of Coke, chocolate, anything he can get his hands on. Recently he started on the potato chips. So now we're calling him two-pack because that's how many he gets through at each tea break. That's from David Watley. Thanks, mate. Mark Jones writes, I work with a guy who talked non-stop. We called him Sidewinder after the heat-seeking missile because once he was locked onto you, there was no getting rid of him. Thanks, Mark Jones. We have a mate with the nickname MasterCard because he's always taking credit for other people's work. <laughs> Uh, this one from Harry Wellington, a bloke at my local golf club, has the nicknames um, Pigs because his name is Mike Fly. Pigs Mike Fly. <laughs> um, and this one here from uh, Andrew Graham Harris. Pigs Mike Fly. <laughs> I went to uni with a guy whose name was Dog Nuts because his eyes are really close together like dog's nuts. <laughs> My friend Brian recently lost his eye, so we now call him Bran. I also, <laughs> I also had a bloke uh, that I worked with. Oh, no. I also worked with a bloke called Pastry because his mum worked at a bakery. And then one day he failed a random drug test due to cannabis smoking. Since then, he's now known as Puff Pastry. It's, <laughs> it's, it's from Noel Powell. Uh, Charles McLeod, give us this one. Uh, there's a dude that works here on the rigs in Taranaki called Hold, <laughs> called Hole Punch. Uh, when we were doing a permit, someone asked him to bite down on the paperwork so he could file it because he's missing um, four of his top middle teeth. <laughs> this one here from Paul in England. I'm in the police and my team regularly does night shifts. One guy uh, called Gary is always falling asleep. We call him the sundial because he's useful during the day but does F all work at night. <laughs> Sam Fires, we've got a bloke at rugby called the muffler because the prick is always exhausted. Oh. Adam Bayford, I work with one lad on site who stood over a manhole whilst it was being unblocked. The drain rods flicked up. <laughs> the drain rods flicked up and now he's known as Shitbeard. <laughs> and finally, from James in England, I work with a bloke we called Catty, as in catapult. After he dropped his overalls to have a crap in the hedge, he didn't tuck them under his feet far enough, <laughs> and he finished, pulled up his overalls, and get a bolt of warm shit down the back of his neck. <laughs> Good visuals on that one. <laughs>
Uh, if you like us, you'll probably like the award-winning Morning Rumbles. You might not, but we'll say that. <laughs> but they're very funny. Scan the QR code. Have a hoon. Time for Nicknames, Volume 21. Luke Yates writes, There's a mechanic in the middle of WA whose surname is Sander Cox, so my mates came up with the nickname Gravel Dick. We had a bloke at work called Brake Pad. Anytime he got a bit worn out for the day, he starts squealing and whinging. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Pat Coverford says, When I was growing up in Australia, a mate of ours was a shocker for getting fried ass on a night out, so just wandered off without letting anybody know. We ended up nicknaming him the Wok due to his non-stick nature. <laughs> Michael Cave says we once worked with a guy called Cold Sore. No matter how much shit you put on him, he keep coming back. Anthony McBride from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you for your message. I used to work with a young dude whose boss was the boss's godson. He was always stuffing up and never got in trouble. So we called him the Platypus because he was a protected species. <laughs> Then one final one from me. Andrew Adams from the UK says, we had a boss called the hostage as every time someone called him, he was tied up with something. <laughs> Here's some more. Steve from England. We had a guy at school whose feet were set on fire in a gas fire explosion, so we called him Roast Pototos. <laughs> Wait, so what did we make him that's good. Uh, Lee Hamilton, our mate's called Pipe. I thought it was because he has a massive downstairs. Turns out it's because his first name is Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne Pipe. James yes. Lamb, I knew a guy with the first name Hunter, uh, but he is a vegetarian, so everyone called him the Gatherer. I <laughs> uh, went to school with a guy called Andrew who was missing a few digit, uh, digits on his hand, but everyone called him Godfrey. So I asked, why do you call him that? And they said, well, he's only got free fingers. <laughs> <laughs> My old supervisor at work we called Feta because he always crumbled under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, <laughs> Martin Willerton. I work with a bloke who has a lazy eye, so we call him Prison Eyes because one's in jail and the other's on bail. <laughs> I still like them. Yeah. Nicknames volume 22. We used to know a guy who clearly didn't wipe his ass properly. He would always have two fingers up there itching it and squinting his eyes. Two fingers. <laughs> two fingers. So we named him Twix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chalky fingers, eh? <laughs> We lived next door to a family called the Richards. They had triplets, two boys and a girl. The oldest one we called Big Dick, the next boy Little Dick, and the girl Dickless. <laughs> Thanks, mate. We named my cousin Boobs. He loved them so much he got himself a pair. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I don't know if that's implants or just moobs. I just, reckon moobs. Yeah, yeah boobs, baby. Moobs. <laughs> Hey, they're all good on you. <laughs> yeah. My mate is called Richard William Hindmarsh. His nickname is Dick Bill Bum Swamp. Lawrence Meekle. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a bloke we call the Paper Boy. Every morning he's got a new issue. Sean oh, in Michigan. That's, that's clever. Very that's clever. Great. I like that. I call my mate Daylight Savings because his nose is so big it's an hour in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, Trent Armour. I went camping with the boys and one of the lads went to take a crap. Halfway through, he heard a hissing sound. So he jumped up and ran. We nicknamed him Forest Dump. <laughs> <laughs> run, Forest, run. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. My buddy had a neighbour with a bad limp and when he walked past the wall, he dipped up and down. We called him the elevator. He goes up and down. Yeah. Yes. I, yes. <laughs> My grandfather got the nickname Lotto because each time when we go fishing in the tinny together, there's a big red bull that comes out of his short and sits on the seat. That's from Daryl Shelton. <laughs> so we have a mate at work called Umi because every time you ask him to do something, he replies, who, me? <laughs> <laughs> and one final one. This is my favourite. This is from Lockie Nimmo from Brizzy. Uh, we went to school with a bloke who managed to get hit on the top of his head with a shot put when he was about 13. And he had the nickname Puddles because every time he had a shower, the indent would turn into a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> Tequila shots, eh? <laughs> shots out of that thing. Take one out of the bowl, big herb. <laughs> Welcome to Nicknames Volume 23. I used to work with a lad we called Cliff after a seagull landed on him during a climbing trip. It then proceeded to shit down his back, so now we call him the plasterer's radio. 
I secretly call one of my crazy girl mates the tow truck because the bitch is always headed for a breakdown. Oh, brutal. <laughs> yeah. My uncle liked to party and a few sherbets, so his nickname was The Exorcist. Not because he was religious at all, but because every time he left a party, there were no spirits left. Oh, thirsty boy! <laughs> That's an air from Russ Arnold. I had a guy I used to work with and we called him 65 Degrees uh, because he was always leaning on stuff and never doing anything. <laughs> Stephen Nedwich had an old workmate that we called feathers because he'd flap his gum so much if he had feathers he'd bloody fly off oh that's good ian simpson my brother's nickname at school was skitty he thinks it's because his first name is mark but his <laughs> mates tell me it's because he used to have shit stains in his pants when he changed for pe <laughs> all those years later it's just still sticky we work with a bloke uh he's rather short so we call him nasal spray you know like optravin because he's a little squirt that gets up everyone's nose. Uh, this one here from Ali Murray. <laughs> These couple of truckies we work with. Uh, the older bloke's called Stu, and his son started recently driving for the company as a driver as well. Uh, so his nickname is Casserole, because he's a little Stu. <laughs> and one final one from me. I used to call my granddad Spider-Man. Not because he's a hero or anything. It's just he has a lot of trouble getting out of the bath. <laughs> Visuals on that one are on point. <laughs> Just started a new job and there's a guy here called The Floater. How do you get the nickname The Floater? They said because all useless turds float. <laughs> we had a colleague called Bill. Uh, his nickname was Liability. He was a liar. His name was Bill and he had no ability. <laughs> Very clever, that one. I'm nicknamed The Cat. People thought it was because of my cat-like agility on the football field, but in reality, if I go near birds, they scatter. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Ayton writes, uh, My mate's nickname is Lance Armstrong because he cheated on his girlfriend. We call our workmate uh, Jellyfish because he's got no brains and he's bloody painful to deal with. <laughs> then we're going to make called Mortine because when he turns up, everyone is repelled instantly. <laughs> and one final one. I've got a mate we call Little Dick because his real name is Justin. <laughs> Sorry to all the Justins listening that are also going to get tagged in this post. <laughs> Nicknames volume 24. Got a driver on my site. His nickname's Mirrors. Is any time they went to see him with a problem, the response was, I'll have a look into it. He's an absolute <laughs> flop of a fella. I'm English born. My old man is Scottish and is a standard in England. He was called Jock. I had no idea why the whole footy team called me Strap until I was like <laughs> 18 years old. For F's sake, love you blokes. I was in the school first 15, got rucked in the face and got uh, need to get two stitches and a scar down the middle of my nose. So I was forever known as Ball's Nose. <laughs> Later, that was elaborate, elaborated to Hans Ball's Nose Schmidt uh, because of my Dutch heritage. Uh, my boss is called The Singlet because he's always on my back. Thank you very much, Ian Shaw. <laughs> That's another one here from Mick Bradley and Straya. Tagging a singlet to this. He used to call a workmate Mud Crab because he had a full body, big arms, and his eyes were really close together. <laughs> we also had another bloke nicknamed the Prawn because he had no guts, no spine, and a head full of shit. <laughs> Friend of mine grew up with a boy that they called the Biscuit. He got hit by a car in his teenage years, so then they started calling him Crumbs. <laughs> Guy I worked with a number of years ago, sadly no longer with us, uh, we called Badass, uh, which he thought was a great nickname. Here comes Badass. He thought it was a bit of a badge of honour. It actually stood for big and daft and smell sweaty. Cheers, <laughs> Dave Evans. We had a bloke at work who'd usually... <laughs> hmm. We had a bloke... <laughs> Here we go. We had a big bloke who usually stunk his shirt. <laughs> One day he was bent over and his shirt lifted up. You could see that he had shit smeared from wiping his ass all the way up his back. So from that day on, he was known as the shitback gorilla. Yuck! Sort it out, yeah, mate. There's a big pull through. Got a mate called Shit Shirt. Got the name from a camping trip we all went on. He got pissed, needed shit, had no dunny paper, just used his shirt. <laughs> now he's called Shit Shirt. So I used to work with a guy called Onions. Every time he showed up on site to drive the diggy, you'd cry because he's so slow. <laughs> you'd be there all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
A place I used to work at, there was a woman that worked in the HR department. Her name was Kay Moffat. She was known as the motorcycle accident. <laughs> Tom Brownrig. Kay Moffat. Kay Moffat. Amazing. I work with a bloke called Supercharger. <laughs> he bloody loves it. But the real reason for his nickname is because the second he starts working, all you hear from him is the whining. <laughs> Well, you work with a bloke called Scooter. He has half of his foot missing on one side, and, and when he walks, he looks like he's riding a scooter. And one final one. <laughs> Used to work with a guy that had a massive <laughs> nose, so we called him Arthur because he looked like half a pickaxe from Rob <laughs> Peters. <laughs> the shoes are still good, aren't they? Oh, yes. It's time for... Nicknames Volume 25. Here we go. Can I just say, word of warning, some of these are deeply personal. <laughs> Shit to be you <laughs> if you get read out. I used to work with a guy who wouldn't really do his job properly. So behind his back, we gave him the nickname Zeus. Not because he was built like a Greek god, but it was a code word for zero effort unless supervised. <laughs> we got a guy who comes into work and the boys call him Two Pies. So I asked, why do you call him that? Because you can't get that fat eating one pie. <laughs> While serving in the military, I worked with a guy called Fatal uh, because he was fat and his, his name was Al. <laughs> I know a guy with one testicle. He's got two kids, so we call him Powerball. Oh, that's good. An old friend had nerve damage in his face. So one... <laughs> right, I'll save you a bus on the seat to hell. An old, <laughs> an old friend had nerve damage in his face, so had one eyelid half closed and one really wide. <laughs> so we called him Dip and Dazzle. Oh, that's terrible. We've got an apprentice at work known as Wonder Boy. He, think, he thought it was because he's so great and the eighth wonder of the world. Really, he has that much time off. We always wonder where the F he is. <laughs> <laughs> a bloke that I, where I used to work was called Gav. He'd always bunk off early, so his nickname became Heartburn because when the boss always asked where he was, everyone would say, Gav is gone. Gav is done. Yeah, good. A lad I knew in the Navy was called the Pringle Thief. <laughs> <laughs> the Pringle Thief because he had had an accident and lost two fingers so his hand can go all the way to the tube now real easy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't know. That's one of the all-time greats. Uh, James just texted saying, oh my gosh, these are absolutely ruthless. We had a nickname for an old boss. He used to tell us how good the jobs were that he was sending us to, but they all turned out to be nightmare jobs. Because of this, we called him Willy Wonka because he used to sugarcoat everything. <laughs> Kyle Turner has a workmate called the seat cover because he just sits in the ute all day collecting dust. <laughs> We worked with an old weathered painter who was so sunbaked, he was all wrinkled, had no moisture in his body. His name was Colin. Enter the Coltana. <laughs> Coltana, <laughs> Dan Wallace, we had an apprentice nicknamed Matchstick for two reasons, because he was pale as a ghost and had red hair, and he was also... Uh, actually once known to set himself on fire during work experience. <laughs> My uh, mate is called Daryl, but he is fat, so we call him Barrel. Nice. A couple of pork chops copping it in this round of nicknames. Oh, yeah. We're about to rip into nicknames volume 26. A mate of ours is called The Squid because he got into a fight walking home from the pub one night and shit himself in the dust up. <laughs> Literally shit himself. <laughs> Uh, I used to work with an apprentice who got cancer removed from his throat, which left a real mint scar, which went right under his neck. We called him Pez. <laughs> the Pez dispenser? <laughs> <Flip heads. laughs> I worked with a bloke who was five foot tall uh, and called Anthony. He got the nickname Shetland Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's still so many good ones out there. <laughs> On a camping trip, one of the girls shed her sleeping bag. She got the nickname Shit Burrito. Uh, I have a mate with a big nose who thinks he knows <laughs> He thinks he knows everything, so we call him Nostril Damas. <laughs> <laughs> we used to work with a guy called Daisy because some days he shows and some days he doesn't. We have a boss at work who has eyes that look in opposite directions. The boys call him the tennis umpire because he doesn't need to take his doesn't need to take his eye off the court. Boy, I used to work with. 
We called him Kickstart because after an accident he had causing a leg injury, every time he walked, his right leg would kick out in front of him. <laughs> oh I had a friend God. with the nickname Three Knees. He had a left knee, he had a right knee, and he had a face loaded with acne. <laughs> Getting so wild. <laughs> uh, used to play rugby with a fella in the UK. One week I couldn't play, so he filled in for me at fullback. Turns out he made a real bad tackle and had his head in the wrong place, and he broke his neck in several places. <laughs> Ambulance, hospital, traction for a couple of years. Full halo around his sleeve with the nuts and bolts hanging out of it. We nicknamed him the coat rack. <laughs> we all have nicknames in our motorbike group, but the best one by far is Fluffy Dice. He was filtering through traffic on his 125 many years ago in our college days and wasn't wearing any safety gear. A brand new Mercedes switched lanes and my mate wasn't looking. He went straight into the back of this car and flew over the top of it and in doing so, somehow managed to split his trousers straight down the middle and his plums fell out. The landing was like a belly flop directly onto the front of the car with his coin purse resting on the windscreen in full view of the driver and his mortified wife, just like Fluffy Dice. <laughs> Went to school with a guy who had the nickname Nugget because on a school excursion he ran up the, to the front of the bus, dropped his dax, chucked a brown eye and tried to fart but popped out a nugget instead. It rolled on the floor and down to the stairwell. He's been called Nugget ever since. <laughs> Worked with a chef, quite a big bloke. He was pretty happy with his nickname of Thor. Little did he know that it was actually spelt T-H-A-W because <laughs> everything that he cooked came out of the freezer. <laughs> oh, master chef. I have a mate that's about six foot four, skinny as a stick insect, and rides uh, motorbikes. As he's so skinny, when he wears his helmet, he looks like a chuppa chup. That's his nickname. <laughs> My friend's brother works with a fella who is always telling lies about how much he wins at the bookies, so they call him the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> Bloke we know has a wandering eye and gets called the substitute teacher because he can't keep his pupils in line. <laughs> I'm excited. This is nickname volume 27. The gift that keeps on giving. I'll start, Jay. Thanks, mate. Leah Smith writes, I work with an old bloke with chronic arthritis in his hands. His fingers are all twisted to the right. We used to call him the spin bowler. I was working at a different site today and I asked one of the chaps how he was doing. His reply was, nine iron is doing okay. My reply was, nine iron? He said, yeah, he's got skinny legs and big feet. <laughs> <laughs> my uncle named an obese woman Judy when we said uh, no her name is Tracy he said no Judy heavy Judy <laughs> <laughs> we've got a mate we call Weakbix because he has eczema that's not even clever that's just mean so we have a supervisor at work that's good for absolutely absolutely air full so we call him the gardener because all he's managed to produce in his garden is a shift full of cabbage units <laughs> we had a guy at work called the dead fish <laughs> because his beer gut was so big, he could only sleep belly up. Oh, mate, these are just... <laughs> I can just tell where this is great. I mean, uh, you know what? You know, his belly's got to be super wide as well. It's just great. Uh, we had a mate called Six Pack because his nostrils looked like his dad used to carry him around as one. My nan used to call my older brother Hot Wash because years after his epilepsy developed, he had a fit in the bath, and afterwards my nan said that we should throw on the laundry and save ourselves a washing cycle. Oh, come on, nan. nan, come on. So I had a mate at work who had one of his toes taken off after an operation, so we called him Kodak because he only had photos, four toes. <laughs> My name's Scotty and I used to be called The Potty, not because it rhymes, because I was small, short and full of shit. <laughs> I work with a cousin of mine, we call him Nits, because everything he says and does leaves us scratching our heads. <laughs> yeah, my father-in-law's best mate has the nickname Oral, uh, because he gets so drunk he, sound, he starts slurring his words so bad he sounds like a car with a dead battery trying to start. <laughs> Oral. Oral. <laughs> Welcome to Nicknames Volume 28. An old electrician I work with had to wear splints on his wrist due to arthritis, which meant he walked around like a T-Rex. We called him Jurassic <laughs> Spark. <laughs> we have a mate we call Rice Paper because you can see straight through his bullshit stories. Got a guy at work who always leans against his truck with one hand on his truck and the other one on his hip watching others work. <laughs> and he's also on the bigger side, so we call him the teapot.
I know a guy whose nickname is Pi, so he called his son the, the Party Pie. <laughs> <laughs> so at work, we have a really gullible work colleague. We call him Shimano. Really easy to reel him in. <laughs> <laughs> Went to school with a guy with an unusually small mouth. He got the nickname the Cat's Bumhole. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a friend who was so skinny we used to call him One Stripe because if he ever went to prison there'd only be enough space for One Stripe on his prison overalls. <laughs> Had a replacement cad bloke called Mike on the site to cover holidays. Uh, blokes who knew him all called him either Wimbledon or Wimbledon Mike. When I asked why, uh, one explained that he had an accident while cycling and had caught his ball sack on his handlebars as he flew over them. Had to go for an op and replace him so they had, had to say new balls please. I once knew someone who had horrendous teeth, so we called them summer teeth. Some are green, some are black, and some are missing. It's oh my, my great pleasure to welcome you into Nicknames Volume 29. I work with a bloke called, we call Plus 20. He picked up a load of ice cream from Melbourne to deliver to Brisbane in a semi-trailer, but he set the freezer van to Plus 20 <laughs> instead of Minus 20. When he opened the doors in Brisbane, all his cream just started to run out the back of the truck. 20 years oh. later, he still has the nickname. One temporary digger driver kept reversing over high curbs and got stuck. So we nicknamed him Robinson Crusoe because he was stranded on an island. <laughs> we called one of our teammates a cricket, Jupiter, the gas planner, because he can't stop farting on the field during the game. <laughs> Ex of mine's dad had been through several fiancés and wives in the hospital he works at. He's known as Lord of the Rings. <laughs> There's a bloke at work we call Cinderella because he ruined a rendering job by leaning with his hand on the wall. Everyone denied it, so we all had to put our hand over the outline of the hand, and his hand matched perfectly. My boss just gave our big boss a nickname, Jandal, because he flip-flops on every decision he makes. <laughs> I used to work with a guy whose family all looked practically identical, so they were called the Soccer Seed from Scott Harrington. <laughs> Same, same, but different. <laughs> I worked with a bloke who started out with the nickname Pest until he lost a testicle through illness. From then on, he was known as the Pesticle. My father-in-law worked with a bloke whose surname was Glasscock and who referred to himself as Glasgow. Uh, but everyone else called him Brittle Dick. Uh, we have the ABC, which is the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. She's the admin lady in our office who broadcasts anything <laughs> sensitive or confidential across the entire department and beyond. When my dad was at school, a fellow pupil felt the teachers were picking on him, and he decided he would get revenge with a very dirty protest. So each day, he would make a picture in the toilets using his own feces. He is still known as Pucasso. <laughs> I work with a guy we call the bus. He's big, slow, and always late. Oh, they're still good for a laugh, aren't they? Pucasso. Pucasso is my favourite in Socket Z. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Here we are. Nicknames volume bloody 30. Got a nickname for all the guys who whip out their phones while at work and take selfies or videos for the ladies they'll never meet. We call them on our site, David Attenborough. Always filming while the rest of you majestic creatures work. <laughs> Got a mate back in Tassies. We nicknamed his boat the Olympic Torch as he only brought it out on the water once every four years. <laughs> Cheers, Dean Cullen. We work with a guy called the Avalanche because whenever you ask him to do anything, he throws his arms up in the air and says that he's snowed under. Thank you very much, <laughs> Jay Linkle. Had two guys at our work named Nick. One had a very long and hard to pronounce surname, so we called him Nick Alphabet. We've got a guy based in our UK sales office in England. He's almost impossible to get hold of during the day. He pops up online and then disappears just as quickly. We call him Whack-A-Mole. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a truck driver who hit a bridge once. His nickname is now Bridget. Bridge hit. <laughs> <laughs> we work with a guy with a very thin shit comb over. He's referred to as the barcode. <laughs> There's going to be a few barcodes getting tagged in this one. <laughs> hey, sorry about it. I have a mate called Tick. Uh, his head has stayed the same size since high school, but his body just keeps getting round by the day. <laughs> Best has got a mate they call the Bob Sleep because every time he drinks, he just goes downhill real quick. <laughs> Works for the bloke called the Axe Head because he's always flying off the handle. <laughs> 
I've got a mate who used to be fat, but now he's just chubby. After losing some weight, we call him the Zippo because he's a little lighter now. <laughs> I grew up the dirty bugger that would never shower, and as a result, him and his missus ended up with a fungal infection. So his old man named them Itchy and Scratchy. <laughs> oh my gosh! That is magic for thirty. What a way to bring it home. Welcome to Nickname Volume Thirty One. I'm coming in hot. We currently work with a guy who's known as The Oath. For weeks, I couldn't get my head around it. Turns out he had a set of unfortunate pearly whites, and when he spoke, he revealed just one tooth. <laughs> Figured out he was called The Oath because he was one tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. Thank you, Ian, from Liverpool. <laughs> Just went to school with a guy who had black hair and a white patch in it. He said it was from a birthmark, so we obviously called him bird shit. <laughs> Our two bosses were twins and we called one the Roadrunner because he never stopped moving and was constantly bleeping on about some shit. And the other one, Sea Snake, because he was a slimy bastard who was always sneaking off work to go fishing. <laughs> During a brief stint with the British Transport Police, I earned the nickname T-Rex. I pretended it was because I was really fearsome, but really it was because my arms were so short I couldn't let the handbrake off with the policeman. <laughs> We have two guys in at work we call Joe and the other one Ob because together they do half a job each. <laughs> we had a guy at work and his teeth were all over the place so we called him the Swiss Army Mouth. <laughs> There's a guy around this way who's really short and has a flat top head. He looks like he's been whacked with a big hammer. His nickname is Tent Peg. <laughs> we got a friend that always eats and drinks when we go out as a group, but when the bill comes, he's nowhere to be found. So we call him Crime, because crime doesn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bloke at work called Bunnings, because he reckons he'll beat everybody by 10%. <laughs> what a wounder. Yeah. We have a fella at work we call Avatar, not because he's blue and is really tall with a tail. More to the point, when he starts talking, he goes on for about four hours, and when he finishes, <laughs> you've got absolutely no effing idea what he's going on about, just like the film. Come to think of it, he's got pretty pointy ears as well. <laughs> We've got a guy at work who had a cardiac episode and had to be shocked with a defibrillator, from which, luckily, he was completely recovered. Uh, he has a real appetite for cheese and eats tons of stuff. And because he came back from the dead, we call him Cheese Us. <laughs> I had a mate who fell down the stairs at work and ended up getting the nickname Slinky. <laughs> uh, when I was three, my mum ran me over with the Kingswood in the backyard. She says that it was an accident. Anyways, when they got me to hospital, I was fine, but I had a treadmark that went up over my back and over my head. So my nickname from the old boy was Dunlop for years. <laughs> and finally, from Andrew McCready, Ooh. the janitor at my son's primary school here in Glasgow. As a man who's about four foot tall and is balding on top, the kid's nickname, kids nicknamed him Jenny DeVito. <laughs> Jenny DeVito's a beauty. <laughs> oh, I needed that. 31 rolls of that dice and it's still going good. This <laughs> is nickname volume 32. A bloke at my rugby club had the largest head we'd ever seen. He never wore a hat because he couldn't get one big enough. His nickname was the Paddle Pop Lion. <laughs> and I used to work with an apprentice who used to try and grow a moustache. It was terrible, so we called him Chocky because it looked like he just drank a chocolate milk. <laughs> I used to be called Shit Eye. <laughs> Initially, I thought it was because I always used to say the phrase, Oh, shit, eh? It wasn't until someone told me it's because I have a mole under my left eye that looked like a bit of shit. Sorry, mate. We had a cleaner at my work who was also a singer in a thrash metal band. After washing the floors one day, he was nicknamed ZZ Mob. <laughs> ZZ Mob! We used to work with a bloke, bloody good bloke, I might add, but his nickname was Knuckles. Not because he could throw hands, but because he was that short when he jumped into his four-wheel drive. All you could see was the knuckles holding onto the steering wheel, no head. We had a guy at work who thinks he knows everything, so we call him Wikipedia. <laughs> Lots of information, but bugger all of it's true. <laughs> if we had these two twins at my school, one was good looking, smart, very athletic, the other one was none of the above. He was called the placenta. <laughs> my husband is the most irresponsible, childish man alive, so when I'm introducing him, I refer to him as the hologram, because he looks like an adult, but there's no real substance there. <laughs> Well, hi guys, we've got a bloke at work called Injury Time because whenever he says he'll be finished at a certain time, you've got to add another five to ten minutes. 
good. Got a bloke at work we call Shania because he doesn't impress me much or anyone else. <laughs> that don't impress me much. I worked with a bloke we called him Fart in a Bath because his last name was Burlet. <laughs> Pronounced Burlet. <laughs> and that's the sound a fart in the bath makes. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Sorry, mate. Have you met Fart in the Bath? <laughs> this is Nickname Volume 33. We have a bloke that works for us. Uh, he's on the bigger side of things, uh, but really loves to skateboard. So we call him Tony Pork. <laughs> Cheer the boys. Oh, that's I've, good. <laughs> I've got black hair and a ginger beard, so the lads at work call me the Duracell battery. <laughs> Work with a, another guy who is a bit on the chunky side. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> work with a guy who was on the chunky side. He was chatting to everyone and would never let anyone get away from the fact that he did some sort of ballroom dancing salsa Ciroc bullshit in his spare time. From that point on, he was referred to as Fatrick Swayze. <laughs> My mate has a massive chin, so we call him Chin Diesel. <laughs> We have a mate called One Tooth. For obvious reasons, he's only got one tooth. But one day, while he was pissed up, he decided to pull out the one tooth with some pliers. He's now called Top Gum. <laughs> one guy at work we call Bonsai because he costs a lot, does nothing, and requires constant supervision. <laughs> I work with a guy called Weasley for about a year. Then I saw him filling in a form one day with the name Lee. Then I asked him about it. He said, well, he used to go missing all the time on site, and then everyone used to ask, where's Lee? <laughs> He's the name Wesley. <laughs> I call my dad Audi, like the car, because he's been married four times, so he's got four rings like the Audi logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I went with a guy called Red Rooster, as he was a gym junkie that always seemed to skip leg day. He was all upper body and no legs. To be honest, he's a bit of a cock as well. Thank you, Ang Andrew Drinkwater. Uh, one mate who started a big brawl outside the front of a local kebab shop last year. We now call him Donna McGregor. <laughs> Nickname volume 34. Work with a Church of Latter day Saints guy who loved home theatre and any type of digital gadgets. We call him Harvey Mormon. <laughs> Another guy we work with can't work on his own shit. We call him Bluetooth because he's always got to be paired up with someone. <laughs> on a construction site where the greater driver did bugger all during normal working hours, but boy, did he get busy after five to milk the overtime. We call him Fonterra. <laughs> the big milker. But I worked with a lad uh, years ago who used to tell the biggest bullshit stories ever. His nickname was Witch End. As you didn't know which end of his body, the most shit came out of. <laughs> Got a supervisor we call Shaggy because every time something goes wrong, he says, It wasn't me. <laughs> One of the apprentices at work loves to blame his tools every time something goes wrong, so we call him Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Work with a lad we call One Nut because he would go for a rubbish dump and would only half fill the ute. So we called him One Nut because he'd only dumped half a load. <laughs> I've got a mate called Puff. 40 years ago, she took her new lanky boyfriend home to meet her mum. Her mum had a budgie that was out of the cage. As this big lanky prick sat down, the budgie flew past and he accidentally volley kicked it straight into a coal fire. Bird went poof. <laughs> he got dumped. She still got the nickname. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Kempy. Yeah, can't be. Bloke at my work is called Greg, but we call him the Wasp because he's always lingering for leftovers on your food and at lunchtime trying to get into our soft drinks. <laughs> I work with a dozer driver that's known as the Golf Tee because he's got a real skinny body and a massive head. <laughs> Over here in Western Australia, we have a manager called the Ouija Board. He's difficult to get hold of, and when you do talk to him, he doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, that's still good. Welcome to Nicknames 35. I used to play football in the UK with a striker who our coach had nicknamed Jigsaw because he used to fall apart in the box. <laughs> the old man is a bloody good rooster. However, he used to have the nickname 1080 because nobody likes him, but he gets the job done. <laughs> My mate Steve was telling us that he used to be a trampoline slash tumbling champion as a youngster. He proved it by showing us all video evidence. There he was, bouncing around in his black lycra leotard. From that day forward, he's been known as Leotardo de Trampio. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is one of the greats. Uh, when I used to work at DC, we had a manager who was bald and has a fair few wrinkles on his head. And he'd get angry and start flapping his arms around. One of the boys nicknamed the Skinned Pigeon. <laughs> 
had a buddy that got caught short on the way home for the pub. So he went behind a car dealership across the road, sat on a pile of tyres and took a cack. <laughs> we call him Dumplop. <laughs> Dumplop. <laughs> I call my mate's wife the Spanner. That's because every time I see her, she makes my nuts go tight. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, another one here. Over here in Melbourne, there's an electrician who loves bloody Elton John. He's always listening to him, full noise on site. Uh, the lads nicknamed him Socket Man. <laughs> That's good. And finally, I have a non-life-threatening tremor, which makes small detail jobs like being a surgeon effing impossible. One of the lads I work with calls me Caboose. Caboose is the last carriage on a train and it's renowned for shaking and rattling all over the train tracks. Oh my Jeez, God, mate. ruthless, mate. We have just nicknamed our new apprentice at work RC. It stands for Remote Control because if you're not driving him, he's doing it all. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is for a mate of mine who rides motorbikes and has a bad habit of holding on to the bike as it crashes. We call him Black Pearl as the captain always goes down with the ship. <laughs> My partner used to work with a guy they called Creeping Jesus. Didn't look like Jesus, short, balding and solid build with glasses. But he was a quiet walker. <laughs> You'd be standing there working away and turn around and... Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> He'd be standing right there and you'd never hear the prick walking up to you. Jesus. <laughs> Hell of a nickname. Work with a guy who was uh, annoyed us all the time, so we nicknamed him FPOS. Extremely fat piece of <laughs> shit. Thanks, Peter Casey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's oh. good for the soul. Well, how are? Uh, we're Jane Dunk from The Rock in New Zealand. We do a radio show which plays, believe it or not, Rock music, which is where these bloody nickname videos came from as well. So if you don't like the music, you can listen to our podcast without the music in it. Makes sense. Scan the QR code. Enjoy. Or just keep watching. You've probably got quite a bit more to watch because we've done that many of these nickname videos. Welcome to Nickname Volume 36. My dad worked with someone who was nicknamed oh. Narnia because they had hair like a lion, a face like a witch, and oh. with the size of a wardrobe. <laughs> Our sales rep at work has earned the nickname The Speedboat from one of our customers. I asked them why, and he said, no sales. <laughs> so I used to work with a guy named Speedbump. All he would do is slow you down and piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> we call our neighbour Noah because he has a boat on the driveway, and the only time it will ever see the water is if there is a biblical flood. <laughs> These are great. There's a lot of reappropriation for these to people that you know. I played Gaelic football with a guy called Chili. When I asked why he was called Chili, he said because his dad's name is Con Carney. <laughs> I used to call my old boss Nappy because he was always on my ass and full of shit. Oh my gosh, so good. I used to deliver and install gym equipment, some of which was very heavy. A lad who I was lifting some of said equipment with one day dropped a squat machine on my foot and it painfully broke it. He became known as Fortnite because he was too weak. <laughs> we are a site foreman who plays in a rock covers band at the weekends and is so anal about things being perfect that he always delays our projects by obsessing over everything. His nickname is OCDC. <laughs> Uh, we have a guy at work we call the Milkman because instead of doing anything constructive for 10 hours, he just milks the boss's wallet. <laughs> so I work with a guy called the Cockroach because he gets into every crack around town, lives on rubbish, and he's had four strokes and he's still coming. <laughs> so I'm a skydiver in the UK. I knew a bloke about 10 years ago known as Double Dump Dave. The morning after a huge night out in a hot curry, he went for a skydive. After an uneventful free fall, he dumped out his main parachute. It opened abnormally hard, and hence, so too did his bowels. <laughs> his first name wasn't even Dave. <laughs> Double dump. Oh, you have it. We think we're done. Every time we think we're oh, done. Oh, man. We OC. get a bloody OCDC. <laughs> Welcome to Nickname Volume 37, maybe! Fell ours, my boss at work. His last name is McKinnon. We call him the Big Mac. He's got two sons. One gets called the Happy Meal, the other one gets called Fell Our Fish. <laughs> We've got a guy at work who has a bit of a gammy leg and walks kind of side on. So his nickname is the Bishop because he can only move in diagonals. Like a game of cheese. Played cricket in Queensland with a guy called Mark. One night on the steam, he got blind drunk and ended up staying at the club captain's house to sleep it off. That night, a little unfamiliar with his surroundings, 
he took a massive shit on the carpet in the bedroom, wiped his ass on the floor. From that moment, he was known as, you guessed it, the skid. Skid Mark. <laughs> we have a guy at work who uh, always takes forever to compute what is being said to him. Because of this, we call him the Internet Explorer because he's always buffering. <laughs> I used to work with a fella who was five foot nothing, used to wear skin tight t-shirts, had teeth like a row of broken bottles, and had a skinhead, so we called him Vin Weasel. <laughs> Worked with a guy who had a hunchback. His nickname was Bass Jumper because it looked like he had his parachute strapped on. <laughs> 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 oh. I work for a company and a lot of the time we can work away. There's a guy who won't stay in hotels as it costs too much, so he lives in his van the whole job. His nickname is Nelson Van Dweller. <laughs> <laughs> One of my bricklayers on our site has a big ass, so he gets called Bricky Minaj. <laughs> we have an apprentice that we have nicknamed Control Alt Delete because when you ask him to do more than one task, he gives you a blank stare like the task manager that comes up when not responding. <laughs> we used to work with a bloke who never turned up on Mondays. He soon became known as the Boomtown Rat. <laughs> Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why. We have a guy in town we call Picasso Man because his face looks like it's made up of completely different mouths, noses, and eyes. <laughs> Time for nickname, volume 38. You go, mate. Okay, I'll go. When I was younger over here in Scotland, I knew a guy who tried to singe his eyebrows with a match for some stupid reason and ended up burning his eye. He had to get a skin graft from his ass to fix it, so he got the nickname Captain Bum Eye. <laughs> Bum Eye. We know a guy that's not overly bright but is as strong as an ox, so we call him the fridge because he can't spell it, but he can lift it. <laughs> <laughs> My mate's dad's uh, nickname is Blockhead because when he was in a fight when he was younger, he was getting belted and was, one of his mates yelled, you're not supposed to block the punches with your head, mate. <laughs> we had a temp at work filling in for a couple of months. His nickname was McRib. Only here for a limited time. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. I call my wife the pregnancy scare because she's always running late. <laughs> I bet he's never called it to her face. Rightio, buckle in. We have a lad at work who's white and as pale as you can get, so we call him the unseasoned trick and drumstick. Oh. Look at that, mate. This is the unseasoned trick and drumstick. Here, yeah, nice meet you. Rolls off the tongue, eh? There's a bloke at work with a nickname Ovlov. It's because he cycled headfirst into the back of a parked Volvo. Uh, we used to have an apprentice here who was four foot piss all and didn't move, exactly move fast. So his nickname was Brisket because he was low and slow. <laughs> My mate's nickname is Diamond because no matter how hard he tries, he's always every girl's best friend. <laughs> we have a guy that works for us that has a dodgy ticker, so we call him Billy Ray because he has an achy breaky heart. Great. And finally, uh, my mate from Aberdeen in Scotland had his leg amputated after a motorcycle accident, and now he gets called Hopscotch. <laughs> Holy shit. The best yet? I'm saying the best yet. Welcome to Nicknames 39! We had a guy at work we called the all-day breakfast. <laughs> because when he opened his mouth, his teeth were covered with plaque and old food. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mate was a national level swimmer, but couldn't run very fast, so we called him Teabag, because without water he is useless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chippy and we call the apprentice Lightning, because when he's using his hammer, he never <laughs> hits the same spot twice. <laughs> That's a good one. I used to be called Chips. I used to tell people it was down to my poker playing skills, but really it was because I hung around with a guy called Chicken. <laughs> I know a lady whose name is Claire Walls, so I call her the fish tank. <laughs> Hello, Claire. One of the lads at work in the UK is called Bin Bag <laughs> because he has a top knot which looks like the top of a bin bag. <laughs> Went to a party with a chick that spewed all over her tits. She's now known as Spewbies. <laughs> Oh, my God. What 
<laughs> got a mate. <laughs> I've got a mate. Where did he go Jack. from here? Worked with a guy who had two kids. He and his wife decided on a vasectomy. Then two years later, his wife became pregnant with twins. Definitely his. <laughs> from then on, from then on, he was known as Four Balls. <laughs> I had a friend at school who was constant, who was constantly and very aggressively scratching his ass. <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> he was given the nickname Picasso because he started from the bottom and worked up. Played Aussie rules football with a fairly fat bloke. He wore the number 11, so his nickname was Brackets. There's <laughs> two lines around the because it bends out on the jersey. Yeah, big for nicknames, volume 40, baby. My great uncle was a gynecologist at a well-known hospital in New Zealand for around 35 years. They called him the Green Keeper because he worked where everyone else played. <laughs> when you think you've heard it all, and I then know. you get that. A young guy at work has started dating a significantly older lady, and uh, the lads have been calling her Hilux. Today I found out because she's a 4x4, four kids by four fathers. There's a guy in our town that looked exactly like Captain Jack Sparrow and was always seen outside the bus station. Everyone calls him Johnny Depo. <laughs> <laughs> and we know a bloke with outrageously long toenails. We call him Footy Kruger. When I was at school in the UK, we had a teacher called Mr. Delorn. So naturally, he got the nickname Mo, as in Mo Delorn. <laughs> Lady at work is a bit of a recluse. She has at least five house cats, and in summer, really stinks like a dirty litter box. She's called Judy, so the obvious name for her was Dame Judy Stench, aka the Dame. Had a supplier with only one arm. His name was Douglas, so we call him Half a Hug Doug. <laughs> G'day, mate. <laughs> Guess who's back? <laughs> Nicknames, you can go first, Jay. Oh, I'm going to go first. Hey, fellas, at my missus' work, there's a guy with a big hairy mole on his cheek. They call him John Dory. There's another guy who's got his eyes real close together, and they kind of look up and off to the side. They call him the flounder. Keep up the good work, up the wars. So I've got a mate who was playing rugby and got his ball sack torn and his nut half hanging out. We called him Sauron because it looked like the Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I played footy over at Adelaide University where every player has a nickname whether you liked it or not. One club legend had the misfortune of his parents naming him Wayne King. Therefore, his nickname was Nickname Redundant. <laughs> Uh, a mate of mine knew a bloke who never blinked. They called him Open All Hours. <laughs> same, same fella. Same, same fella uh, knew another guy who had real had a lot of wrinkles around his eyes, so they called him Bumhole Onion Eyes. Bumhole Onion Eyes. I used to work with a bloke called Keith who never had a girlfriend, so his nickname was Hand Relief Keith. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> it's good to be back. Finally, work with a guy in the UK, chunky fellow with short <laughs> arms like a T-Rex, so we called him Jurassic Pork. Cheers, Simon Lord. Oh. Woo! Back, baby! Okay. Hot damn. Give this it to me. Had a teacher with a twitch in his eye. He was known as Indicator. <laughs> Sure, just absolutely Sorry. tired and exhausted. I got a nickname a few years ago. I was growing up, I had blonde curls and was a bit of a late developer. Introducing Goldilocks and the three pubic ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, there's a woman who plays golf at my golf club. She has back problems. They cause her to lean backwards when she's walking around. I've given her the nickname the reverse slinky. <laughs> Steve from the UK says I've got a friend uh, at work who suffers from a terrible carpal tunnel syndrome and can't completely close his hands to make a fist. So we call him Lego Hands. 
<laughs> okay, mate, that's 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 bus ride to hell material. That is Chris Bloor. A few years ago, my friend Kenny, Kenny and I would go clubbing. At the end of the night, we would do the four mile walk home, and he would pee on every lamppost on the way de- away home, earning him the nickname Canine Kenny. A colleague of mine is named Netflix because his surname is Badum, so it makes a sound when Netflix starts up. <laughs> <laughs> the best yet. Oh, jeez. It is time for Nickname. <laughs> Can I just go again? I went cross eyed. Use it, you might have been fine. Nickname Ronnie 42. <laughs> My mate's nickname is Butt Plug. He <laughs> fell asleep in the shower and blocked the drain with his ass and flooded the bathroom and half the apartment. <laughs> I used to work with a fella who would pester everybody for a lift home after every shift, so we called him Rust because he's in every bastard's car. (laughs) There was a guy called Billy in town who always asked for a quid to gamble with. He was commonly known as Billy the Quid. (laughs) Billy the Quid. (laughs) I work with a bloke we call Rex, short for Rex owner because he's got a bald head like a deodorant. (laughs) Cheers, boys. Mate started a new job recently. The guy he replaced left for a better job. He lasted five days and quit and then came back demanding his old job back. They re-employed him and the boys call him Test Match because he lasted five days. <laughs> <laughs> we had a teacher in school who had a really flat, featureless face like he had been pressing it up against the glass. He became known as the window shopper. <laughs> Used to work with a lad we called The Undertaker. Not because he's a big WWE wrestler or anything, just because he smelt like death. <laughs> Our company put GPS on the vehicles and after the first week, the supervisors got the report and one guy had been doing 20 hours of idling in a week. From that point on, he was known as Billy Idol. (laughs) We had a lad in school who came in with his hair slicked back with hair gel and a leather jacket, wore it for a whole week, spent the next five years being known as Jelvis. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. 42, who would have thought? Not me, not bloody me. Hello, old friend, welcome back to Nicknames. This is Nicknames Volume 43. We have a guy at work with a massive chin and he's as thin as a matchstick. His name is Chindiana Bones. <laughs> I love this. I knew that we'd get. I knew we'd get fresh. Oh, I used to work with a guy we call Ladders. The bloke came in and asked to borrow a ladder because he'd locked himself out of his flat. He lent him a ladder and uh, held it for him. The bloke was going in and out, grabbing some TVs, VCRs, etc. Later, the police showed up because the owners had been robbed. Ever since then, he's been known as Bloody Ladders. My best mate Jimmy received the name Splinter because he really is an annoying little prick. Went to high school with a guy who at a party. <laughs> Had to take a steamer. Someone walked in whilst having, he was having a wipe. Normally no big deal, but the person who caught him said he was wiping back to front instead of front to back. From that day forward, we just called him shit balls. <laughs> Used to work with a guy in the military with a big square head. <laughs> he was nicknamed Lego. He then failed a fitness test one time because he became a bit of a pork chop, so his nickname naturally evolved along with his declining health to Duplo, which is <laughs> Fat Lego for kids. <laughs> fat Lego! We call our mate Steppen Wolf because he was born t- <laughs> Toby Wild. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bloke on site <laughs> who's got the nickname Coleslaw because he's 80% cabbage. <laughs> We had a chef called Factory Reset, as every time he went home after a shift, he came back in like he's never stepped foot in the kitchen. <laughs> Work with a guy who met a girl at a fate in Southland, which is like a, what, like a fair, right? Yeah. Yeah. They were passing away broad daylight in front of everybody and eventually disappeared into a maze paddock, only to walk out two minutes later with him embarrassed and her unimpressed. His new nickname is Popcorn. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Nicknames have missed you. Welcome to Nicknames, Volume 44. I used to work with a guy called William. He always left skidders on the bog at work, so we called him Billy the Skid. We have a woman that works with us whose name is Patty, and she's always mad, so we call her Crabby Patty. 
<laughs> My mate Dean is quite short and made the stupid decision in college to dye his hair a slim shady blonde. From then on, he was known as any meeny teeny weeny little yellow headed Deanie. <laughs> Worked with a guy for a couple of years. He was a tubby fella, always miserable and dragging his feet. His name was Richard, so we nicknamed him Mopey Dick. <laughs> Worked with a guy who constantly blinks, and any time he joins a combo, he asks, who, 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 who are you talking about? His nickname is The L. <laughs> we had a supervisor at work who was short, fat, and had a stutter. We nicknamed him Porky Pig. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I worked for a trucking company and we had a new guy start called John. Within a week, he got the nickname Nan because his truck was full of potpourri and smelt like your Nan's house. <laughs> My mate had, at work has a glorious red mane of hair and freckles on his very light skinned face. We call him Beans on Toast. It's uh, terrible. And finally here, my girlfriend's name is Tess. My mates and I have nicknamed her Tickle. Tess Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're great. Ah, oh, great. Oh, oh. Sorry to any Tess's listening. <laughs> it's time for Nickname <laughs> Volume 45. I'll start. Thank you for letting me go first. <laughs> I went to college with a bloke in the 90s. Everyone called him Robocop because he had the highest forehead, like Robocop when he takes <laughs> off his helmet. I worked with a guy they called Billy Burnt Chips, as his teeth look like a tray of overcooked <laughs> oven burnt chips. <laughs> we know a lad with a big gap in his front teeth, so we call him the Claw Hammer. The claw. <laughs> Working as a boilermaker, uh, an apprentice burnt his pecker and had to go to hospital. He got the nickname Sausage Sizzle. Oh, that's good. A guy we worked with at a metal recyclers had a fake eye which had a red tint in the middle. So he got the nickname, you guess it, the Terminator. Yeah. Same joke every day as he is leaving for work. Someone would shout out, Oi, where are you off to? He would turn around and say, I'll be back. Yes. <laughs> Ex-work colleague, he was as wide as much as he was tall and we had to wear high-vis clothing. In the winter, we would wear high-vis fleeces. His problem was it made him look like a tennis ball, so we called him Dunlop. <laughs> Dunlop. <laughs> that is so ruthless. <laughs> We're going to bloke at work called the Broken Gate because you can't shut him up. A guy at school had eyebrows like Spock from Star Trek. He shaved them off, and he got called <laughs> Spockless. And we have a bloke at work called Bernie. Nothing to do with fire. It's just his teeth are so badly decayed, they look like a burnt fence. <laughs> Imagine having teeth that bad that someone sends us that text. <laughs> Welcome to Nickname Volume 47. I'll start. <laughs> This is from Denny Moran. Dad had a mate who had red hair, green eyes, and yellow teeth. My dad nicknamed him Traffic Lights. <laughs> I'm Scott Morocco here. I work for a neighbourhood centre in New South Wales, driving elderly people to appointments, shopping, etc. A new lady started about a year ago and rode shotgun with me for a few weeks. On the first day when she went to hop in the car, she noticed a stain on the front seat, scratched it and smelled her <laughs> finger. Immediately she started dry reaching. Unfortunately, one of the elderly clients had done a shot in the front seat. From that day on, she was known as scratch and sniff, like the stickers. <laughs> I had a testicular torsion with a nut twist in the sack. Mm. Think having one of your boys caught in a vice um, being slowly tightened for over an hour. Pain, absolute pain. Anyways, as a result, my mate started calling me Bluebird because I had a bag of twisties. <laughs> <laughs> my boss is a ballin who thinks he's the best builder. He's forever trying to show off his skills. And it's all pretty subpar, to be honest. I've nicknamed him Shania because... Uh, that don't impress me much. <laughs> One more from Johnny Bremer. We had a guy that lost a finger on the job. We called him Pringle Tube as his hand fitted perfectly in to get the crisps out of the bottom without having to turn the tube upside down. <laughs> the raccoon hand. <laughs> Malcolm L. We've got an office administrator called Charlotte with a nickname of Onion because Charlotte, as in Charlotte, uh, is more is similar to the onion. The more layers you peel off, the more you want to cry. Of her own omission, she's a pretty cheap date as she can only handle two beers. So she also gets the nickname Goldilocks from time to time because she can't handle three beers. <laughs>
Bruce Rober. I uh, knew this Kiwi guy in London whose nickname was The Ram. He got it because he was the first Kiwi bloke to move into a flat that had nine, yes, nine girls in his flock. <laughs> Um, another one here. We used to call one of the lads at boarding school Captain Jack Sparrow. He got dorm raided one night and was hit in the eye with a set of rugby boots at the bottom of a pillowcase. He moaned about this sore eye for ages, and after getting zero sympathy from the lads, he ended up buying a pirate set from the $2 shop and using the eye patch. Turns out that after three <laughs> operations, he's now only got limited eyesight and a detached retina. Holy hecka. I right, one more. I'm a plaster and I've got a mate at work called Andy. He just stands here chatting to customers all day. So we call him the shit stripper because he thinks he gets paid to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Welcome to Nick Man, Best one I've heard yet is apart from the sniper's nightmare, he's called Gadunk. Why is that? Because that's the sound the lorry made when it hit a... Worked with a guy in a call centre in Baltimore that had an impulse control problem. He would scratch his crack and immediately rub his eyes. We called him <laughs> Hannison Booper. <laughs> a bloke who played prop for our rugby team in the UK years ago was desperate to join the army, but he kept failing the fitness <laughs> test. He became known as G.I. No. A mate of mine got hit by a car after New Year's Eve and was stuck underneath it. We ran after the car to get her to stop. She panicked and gave it the jandle, dragging him 20 metres down the road before spitting him out the back. He's been known as Judder, short for Judder Bar, ever since. <laughs> oh my God. Named a guy at work Trotting Trailer because he's a sulky little beach. <laughs> I work with a woman whose hair was always the same style. She got a nickname <laughs> Lego Lid. Lego Lid. Now there's a guy at work called Number Nine. The reason why is that eggs only go up to size eight and he's a bigger egg than anything I've ever seen in a supermarket. <laughs> Love you, show guys. And last one for me, this is a bit of a, a David Longy. I work with this guy we called Bubblegum. His foot got stuck between a forklift fork and a bollard, pinning his foot in just the right spot. When the driver went to back up, he hit a perimeter fence. The razor wire, which ran across the top of the fence, broke and sent the lead of the wire directly through the bottom of his testicle sack. Both of his balls unrolled like the world's <laughs> worst party streamer, and neither of them could be saved. Me oh. being a former combat medic, got the privilege of driving him to the hospital. When the doc stitched him up, all he had left was like a flap of skin that made it look like he'd sat on a wad of chewed up chewing gum. Oh, there you have it. <laughs> oh, welcome to Nicknames 49. Work with a guy with one arm. Guess what we call him? Slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> A supervisor at my last job's name was Lloyd, but he was a bit of a pain in the ass, so we called him Hemaloid. <laughs> my old man was a truck driver. He gave one of his workmates the nickname Junior Burger because the bloke <laughs> drove a Big Mac. <laughs> I work with a guy who was really annoying, and everyone called him Hubcap because when you lose one off your car, you don't really care. You don't even really miss it. <laughs> hey, fellas and fellette, there's a bloke that I work with that we call the McConnell Compass. <laughs> That's his last name, but his teeth point in all four directions. <laughs> so strange. While serving in the Royal Air Force, I worked with a guy called Tony, whose lifestyle and choice of food meant he had a poor complexion. His face is always bright red in colour with lots of spots. As a result, he was known by the nickname Pepper Tony Pizza. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> it's oh. And one final one from me. Uh, my mother tried walking home from the bar one night and lay down on the side of the road because she was too drunk and tired. From then on, we now call my mum Roadkill. Thanks, Dale Barber. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we could get better, eh? I love it. Still love it. My stepdad has been given the nickname Jelly Baby by his grandkids because he's got no hair and no teeth. <laughs> I've got a mate I used to work with who had a vasectomy. Two marriages later and two re reversals, we now call him the Zipper. Uh, whoa. Uh, when I was in Blackwood World, there was a guy called Terry who had lost most of his teeth with the exception of his front incisors. He was always yawning, a real tired bastard, so his nickname was Terry Potamus. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Potamus! <laughs>
Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. <laughs> a guy at work was brazing some copper. His hand slipped down the brazing rod and it went straight under the torch. He pulled his glove off and his finger was crispy and blackened. His new nickname from everybody is well done. <laughs> <laughs> Back in school, I had a friend with a pretty big nose. Mine wasn't too small either. Our other mate still had his baby teeth as a teenager and was all gums when he smiled. Together, we were known as Gums and Roses. <laughs> oh, Gums and Noses. Gums and Noses. Oh, Gums oh, and Noses. Oh, mate. Oh, no, I've got one more. One more for Brian Palmer. Ayo, <laughs> lads, messaging in from Ireland with another nickname. I've got a kid nicknamed Harris who works with me. And I've given him the nickname Harris Edemo because watching him try and do anything gives you a headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're still good. They still yeah, give you a bit are. of a laugh, don't they? Oh, boy. How did we get to 50? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> this is from Stephen Brake. I went to high school with twins named Bert and Bob. On day two of grade nine, I found out Bert was born two minutes before Bob. To this day, some 35 years later, Bob is still known as After Bert. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a new guy at work. We're calling him Candy Floss because he won't go outside in the rain. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> My mum used to wear this full-length brown dressing gown when she came out of her room in the morning and she'd be grumbling and complaining about something, so we nicknamed her the Grizzly Bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's from Christian Lowe. I worked with a chap who was a cleaner at work. He had a shaved head, wore a vest, pretty boss side. Basically, he looked like you'd ordered Dominic Torito from Wish, so we called him Bin Diesel. <laughs> and one final one for me. We have a customer at work that has an arm that is completely stuffed and bent and doesn't move anymore. So we've called him Wicked Wing. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> yes! From Paulie in the UK. I used to work 4 a.m. till noon shift. I called one of my colleagues Cinders, just like Cinderella. By the time the clock struck 12, he was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> my partner was out for dinner and she had really bad belly pain. She left and came back later from the toilet, proclaiming that she could smell some shit. She looked on her clothes for the smell and found a thick skitty on her shirt arm. She then became known as Pooh Bear. Cheers, Dave. <laughs> and finally from me, this one here from Chris Edwards. Hello, fellas. Do I have a nickname for you. We have a bin man that's a little bit slow. So we nicknamed him Batteries Not Included. <laughs> <laughs>